If you go to a mastering room and you look around the room and there's racks and racks and racks of equipment, there's too much. If there's too much, you could end up going round and round in circles and chasing your own tail. Some of the best is better than a lot of not the best. Beware of the man with only one gun. He probably knows how to use it. My name's Jeff Pesh. I'm a mastery engineer here at Abbey Road Studios. I'm going to demonstrate a few things about the way I work and give you a real overview and insight into the mastering process. The EMI TG parametric, which all the plugins are built around, is a lovely passive parametric EQ, which I use on nearly everything. The Prism Maselec stereo compressor, but certainly with records with guitars, that just adds a bit more, a bit more go, a bit more presence. Money for nothing and it takes for free. Now that ain't working, that's the way you do it. Let me tell you, damn guys ain't dumb. Because people create playlists now and they'll put a rock track next to a ballad. What I do sometimes with quieter tracks is I raise the level of the fronts and do a gain, small gain fade later in the, uh, in the track to bring the level back down again over a period of time, maybe 30 seconds or something, so nobody hears the track come back down. To get a little bit more of an, uh, an impact out of the front of the track when the start of the track is very low level, that is a trick that I do often. Yeah. 